preaching uh, only for you to attack me and, and do all kind of evil against me. It's best I'm out there with you and you do the evil to me and I deal with you out there. You attack me out there and I will just deal with it. Viewers and subscribers, welcome back to another update. So in day three of Vibes Cartel court hearing, you know, along with these other co-accused to determine whether or not the men are going to be retried or they're going to set free, you know, Kyra Jones, one of the accused, laments, you know, the lack of intimacy while incarcerated. Basically, Kyra Jones is saying that he was not afforded the privilege to receive conjugal visits, so therefore he does not have a family. You know, they must say basically he was not granted that privilege. So we're going to read an article from the Star as it relates to that. We also have Lady Sir basically broke down and live, you know. The former dancehall artist now turned minister, you know, made a post on her Facebook page venting basically and everybody has said it seems like she's out to return to dancehall and she has said yo some people keep on troubling her and why them are troubling her while she in her church she, she can come out of the church and them circle the score there if they want it that way it is also said that lady saw delete her facebook account viewers so we're going to get into all that but before we get into all these updates please remember to leave a like on this video very important also subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed as yet and leave your thoughts down in the comment section so it goes like this kyra jones an accused in the vibes cartel case laments lack of intimacy kyra jones one of the accused in the vibes cartel case has told a court that he has been deprived of the opportunity of intimacy and to create a family jones who has been in custody since 2011 also disclosed that he has racked up a 70 million dollar debt in trying to clear his name jones along with Adija, Vibes Cartel, Palmer, Andre, St. John and Sean Campbell are trying to convince the Court of Appeal not to rule that they should be, be tried for the 2011 MURDER of Clive Lizard Williams. In March, the UK-based Privy Council, Jamaica's final Court of Appeal, threw out their convictions and sent the case back to the Court of Appeal to determine whether there should be a retrial. The case started on Monday. Today, attorney at law, Akubal Chavez, while making oral arguments on behalf of Jones, asked the court to assess the ordeal faced by his client who went into custody at age 27. He pointed to Jones' affidavit in which the accused men said he is now 40 and they continued the criminal process as deprived him of creating a family. He was unable to enjoy a protected right, Chavez added. Justice Marva Bishop McDonnell, who is leading a panel of judges comprises Justice David Fraser and Paulette Williams inquired about conjugal visits and was told that Jones has not been afforded that privilege. Chavaria also asked that the financial challenges faced by Jones be taken into account when waiting the decision for trial. Jones, he shared, disclosed in an affidavit that he had to take out loans to pay for his legal fees when he was appealing the conviction before the court of appeal. He said those loans have not been repaid. If it wasn't for the mercy of God and the kind help of one of the appellants, I would not have been able to have my appeal heard before the Privy Council. The lawyer read further. Turning to the prosecution's case against Jones, Chavez submitted that there was no technical or forensic evidence against his client, placing him at the crime scene. He also argued that there were inconsistencies in the evidence against Jones from the main eyewitness in the case. The lawyer asked that the prosecution not be allowed a second opportunity to present fresh evidence against Jones in hopes of strengthening its case. He said that would be unfair. Jones is serving an 18-year prison term for gun-related offenses. The sentence was imposed in 2019. So you see what's happening here, viewers and subscribers. You know, Kyra Jones, one of the men convicted alongside Vibes Cartel, you know, and have the, his conviction overturned, you know, basically made his case that he was not afforded the privilege to get conjugal visit and therefore he does not have a family and that kind of hurt him. But he also stated that he also submitted that he have a debt of over 70 million dollars, you know, due to fees that he has to pay. Thanks to God, you know, one of the appellants helped him out pay his fees and you know, everybody knows that a vibes cartel helped Kyra Jones with his legal fees. But you the viewers can tell me what you think about this. Leave it in the comment section.
So now viewers, you know, former dancer, artist, lady, so now turn minister, seems as if she's going through a rough time, you know, being a Christian and stuff. So she made a post and everybody is suggesting that she's going to leave Christianity to go back to dance also. This is the post. I'm about to make some of the hardest decisions I've ever made in my life, which may take me back to a place where I would never dream of going back, but seems to be heading back there. From this moment on, I know that many will curse me out and said they have predicted it but what can i say sometimes you just don't have any fight left please do not call my phone or send me any emails trying to f find out what's happening with me cause not much true love is out there for me anyway may god help us all in these times so basically viewers you know minister marin all is letting it be known that you know seems like she's heading back to a place where she thought she would never head back to and everybody is speculating that is dance hall because that's where she's coming from so she's saying that when you don't have any fight left in you and there is not much real love you know you just got to do what you got to do the minister also spoke out on a live recently where she was breaking down and saying that you know some people are trouble her and stuff like that and a lot of people thought you know she's making reference to spice even though she never called spice name so i'm gonna run the video with the minister speaking and you the viewers tell me think about this leave it in the comment section i preach you attack me what, what sense does it make preaching preaching and only for you to attack me and, and do all kind of evil against me it's best i'm out there with you and you do the evil to me and i deal with you out there you attack me out there and i will just deal with it what about how about that I come come out of here, get out of Christianity, yeah, and you attack me out there. How about that? Face to face, that. Hmm? I'm sick of people messing with me. Sick of you lying about me. Sick about you just attacking you evil people. And there's one person that that set up a lot of people against me, and you better pray, because I'm coming out. I'ma take you out. Yeah, because you the one who set up a whole lot of people, you're wicked, you're bad mind, you're grudgeful, you're jealous, and you started this. You started all of this. Yeah, yeah, so oh, other than family, you set up, oh, I was loved by everybody, and you go out and you put up a lot of false things, and you go on the internet and you put up a lot of lies about me, and you set up people against me, and all I did was give you my open arms, outstretched hands, and I honestly let you in my life and you destroy so much. And even when I got into Christendom, you compete with me. If I say I'm preaching today, all of a sudden, the same day, same time, you say you are church and you and your friends have sent it over to my phone. You understand? As, as if I tell you, if I'm coming out with a song, you come out with something to, de to bar people from paying attention to what I'm doing. And then you make up all kind of lies. Even in Christendom, I leave everything and, and I come over here and you attack me silently. You don't even know I know people who are with you right there on the ground when you're doing your evil with all them fake phones. And you don't even know they're there and they say, that person is coming online now, talking a lot of stuff right here. Here. she's coming on she's gonna build yeah and you never leave me alone because you so you just tell us you want me to be shut down in a corner I'm over it I'm over it you want to see bad you really want to see bad you really want to see who is bad it's just not even bad but who is the real talent okay let me just step off out there and handle everything out there then you want that because you won't leave me alone yeah you won't leave me alone you understand yeah they're still there charmaine uh-huh uh-huh okay yeah, your fake name right here. You see how you are? And you are the people I'm talking about. You, yeah? You're the people 
I'm talking about Charmaine Evangelist. Oh, you have a name like that, and you're going to name about Lady Saw running the church because she was hurt and freed. So that means you're a fake page, Charmaine Evangelist. You know why I run in the church? Because I know it was either hell or prison. All right? So if you want me to run out back, fake Charmaine Evangelist, I can run out back and handle it just to show you I'm not afraid. There's none like me. None that be like me. Amen? Let me tell you that. So you fake page, Charmaine Evangelist. You, a lot of you, you going to die in your sin. Because you know what the Bible say? If you know the right and you don't preach it to a man, yeah, and this man die in his sin, yeah,